Andrew Tate defends himself against Piers Morgan. It's the most famous man you've probably never heard of, but the chances are your children will have. Videos of Tate have been viewed billions of times online. He's built an enormous following of mostly young men, and it's often scandalous views about women that have made him notorious across the world. Views like this. So I think my sister is my her husband's property, yes. When a bride is walking... Oh, my God. The, groom, ...the father walks next to her and gives her away, true or false. Tate's opinions on mental illness are equally controversial. I don't believe in depression. Don't message me about depression because I don't believe in it. If you're asleep in your bed in the middle of the night and you hear a noise and you believe in ghosts, now you're afraid. But if you don't believe in ghosts, ah, it's the wind and you go back to sleep. You give the ghosts power by believing in them. Well, the summer, every major social media platform banned Tate amid a global backlash of concerns about his influence on the young people who watch him. But copies of his videos are still shared millions of times every day. This show is called Uncensored. And one of the ch This is yet another instance of Piers Morgan finding someone worse than him to somehow keep up appearances that he is not the worst human being alive. It's just like, this is a thing that Piers does, okay? For those of you who don't know, he does this shit all the time chat this is a classic Piers morgan moment he always does this shit that's why one of his most famous clips of him like dunking on a republican from america about gun laws you know what i mean i can't believe i almost debated him i was so god i really took a big l you know i was supposed to go on his show for those of you who don't know i was supposed to go on a show when i was in england and I'm sure we could still do it. Like he is a he is a demon when it comes to media shit. So yeah, but I was in uh, I was in Amsterdam by that point. So I was like, I'm not gonna go back, you know. And just views directly. So he flew from Romania to I'm sit here in the studio and the full explosive interview as later this week. Here's a bit of what has come. Do you respect women? Absolutely. Why wouldn't I? Do you think that 18, 19 year old women are more attractive than 25 year old women? I think there's attractive people. Uh, that's that's a loaded question. I don't know. Well, it's not really, is it? I, I can't you know sit, why I'm asking you. Of course I do, but I can't sit well, here and for say... For the benefit of viewers who don't know why I'm asking, you said this. In general, this is also one of the reasons men find youth attractive. You want to block the internet? I'll block the internet right effing now. The reason 18 and 19-year-olds are more attractive than 25-year-olds is because they've been through less dick. People say, oh, you can't say that, but yes, I can. A 19-year-old is more attractive than a 26-year-old woman, and I'll tell you why. Because that 26-year-old has talked to more guys, been to the club more times been effed and dumped more times, more arguments, more mess, more for me to clean up. That is misogyny. Why? Because you are encouraging a mindset about 25-year-old women that makes them sound out to be infinitely less desirable than 18, 19-year-olds and having effectively been having too much sex to be taken in a more respectful way. That would, well, firstly, even if that was the case, that wouldn't be misogyny. But well, what did you mean by what you said? That's not misogyny because it's not anti-women. I'm, I'm you know he's going to hit you with a 9-11 clip and a Dan Crenshaw clip right off the bat when you go on, though? Bitch, how many times have I addressed it? You think I'm embarrassed by those clips? Yeah, play my highlights, bitch. If Pierce Morgan came up to me and played the 9-11 clips, I'd be like, damn, I was popping off. Uh, that's cool. Thank you. <laughs> play one more time. I'd be like, play it one more time, Pierce. Play the greatest hits one more time. But you think... The oi bros in the UK are going to give a shit. No, it, the, the video that he would play would be probably me dancing when the queen died. That would actually be, uh, you know, not great. If he played that one, the oi bros would not like me, okay? They love the queen. They would not like me. What? Transphobia also? What do you mean? What? I'm saying that an 18 or a 19-year-old woman would be more desirable. It's pretty anti-25-year-old woman. Anti-25-year-old women, we can argue, but not misogynistic. Well, that's misogyny. Let's, then, let's, no, 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 it's not. Well, being anti any woman at all is misogyny. Not when, I'm, not when I'm saying that women are beautiful and attractive at a certain age and saying the age You're is saying 18, 19-year-olds are more attractive than 25 Well, then ageist, perhaps, but misogyny. Dude, what? Dude, this is like a fucking one-year-old, dude. This is the argument that a four-year-old would put forward. No, I'm saying that some women are hot when they're 18, 19. But then, because uh, the female's uh, body is all that matters, you know, like an object of desire, right? Um, um, I'm saying that uh, they no longer have any worth after the fact that they're, you know, 19. <laughs> Once they're no longer 19, I personally believe they're no longer beautiful. And therefore, they're no longer actually hot and serve a purpose. Which, of course, is very different than misogyny. Yeah, no, that's, that's misogyny. You're describing being misogynistic. <laughs> <laughs> while claiming that that is somehow uh, absolving you of the misogyny allegations. You know what I mean? 
misogynistic, absolutely Is that not. Is that But you just accepted it was misogyny. No, I didn't. You said it was misogyny. I'm telling you, no, it's not. But if a 26-year-old woman is watching this and has heard those comments, yeah. would you just say to her, I, look, I'm sorry, I shouldn't have said that? No, I won't. I will say that I am sorry that that offends you. However, there's a large contingent of the world... That doesn't and... mean you're sorry. Uh, no, I'm not sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, he's such a piece of shit. Sorry that that offends you, but a lot of people agree with me. The point I'm making, I'm sorry if that offends you. However, there's a large contingent of the world that believe that, and I was mediating for a conversation. Parts of the world that believe that about 26-year-old women are parts of the world where women are not allowed out on their own. That's, your, that's a conversation. They have to have... wear full burkas. Well, that's a conversation. They're not allowed have... to drive cars. That's nothing to do with me. But is that the kind of world for a woman that you... I was, mediating a, I was mediating a conversation. No, I'm asking you what you think. I, I don't live in a country where that happens. You're using that as the excuse for why you're not sorry for saying it. It's not an excuse. Is that there are parts of the world where this is fine. My friend. So my question to you is, well, do you think it's fine? By the I way, famously, uh, you know, the kinds of misogynistic things that Andrew Tate, a, a product of the United States of America and the UK, came up with, uh, those parts of the world don't have, uh, you know, uh, different ways of shitting on women, of course. Only Saudi Arabia. Like, I get trying to fucking, uh, you know make a point that uh, is going to look bad for Andrew Tate with your fucking Islamophobic ass audience. But it's wild when motherfuckers in misogynistic countries engaging in misogyny will be like, well, this is, this is just like the Taliban. You know what I mean? It was really funny when I saw all those Supreme Court uh, justice memes where people in America being ruled by evangelical white protestant christian psychopaths were like this is just like the taliban bro you're pointing to your thing no it's just like us we do it too i don't think it's fine i live in a world where you don't think it's fine my the reason this I'm... isn't that hard Andrew. you can simply say beers you know what with the benefit of hindsight i wish i hadn't said it like that and if a 26 year old woman's watching I'm sorry I said that because that actually is blatantly misogynist. And even though that's a view held by other parts of the world, it's not a view I share. Other now, parts I would respect of the world. you more if you said that yeah. than if you try and say, well, it's said in other parts of the world, so I'm not sorry. I think you. That need, doesn't tell me what you think. Then you need to understand why my content existed in the first place. My content existed because I tried. It's so funny to see him talk about it in the past tense. I'm sorry, but come on my very hardest to be an absolute not a realist especially with uncomfortable truths mm. i was pointing out that very uncomfortable is that a truth, truth it's an uncomfortable truth in many parts of the world it's not a truth that i'm happy about an inquest this week found that a 14 year old girl molly russell died from an act of self-harm while suffering from depression and the negative effects of online content the coroner said she was exposed to material that may have influenced her in a negative way and in addition what started as depression and become a much more serious depressive illness and she's what very sad took her life that's, that's absolutely disgusting. Right. Her father, that's terrible. Her father's campaign for better protections against potentially dangerous social media algorithms, right? It says that the particularly graphic content she saw romanticized acts of self harm, normalized her condition, and focused on a limited and irrational view without a, a, any counterbalance of normality. First of all, what is your response to that? Nothing to do with you. I'm yeah, just it's just well, this really is Pierce Morgan's new show. <laughs> you think I'm bad? <laughs> exactly. No, this is what he's doing. His new show is like, if you think I'm bad, well, look at my guests. They're significantly worse. <laughs> Things can be much, much worse. <laughs> That's the first thing. Yeah, it's, it is nothing to do with me. Uh, the fact that a 14-year-old girl took her life is truly sad. The world we live in today is... The world we live in... The, the fact that something like that happened is almost mind-blowing to me. That's truly, That's truly sad. I actually feel sad inside to see something like that. What has come clear to me in the interview is that a lot of things you say you wouldn't say now that you've said before. But I'd say them differently, perhaps. You, you, yeah, right. So to me, that's an acceptance, not just that you want to get back on platforms, because maybe that was one of the reasons you, you were no platform, but that you've recognised and understood the potential harm to the wrong kind of impressionable mind by some of the things you've said. Would that be fair? I think that's 80% fair. I recognize and understand that with massive fame. He's like, yeah, I, I recognize that I got banned, okay? Which was bad. Even though I lied and played it off like it was a part of the plan, it was not good. I took a big L on that, okay? And, and can't make money anymore from my multi-level marketing schemes, which is why I, I probably should have worded it differently. <laughs> you have to be more careful about being mis 
misconstrued. Like I said earlier, 1% of people misunderstanding you doesn't matter with a small audience. It matters with a very large audience. With power comes responsibility. Mm. I still believe the things I say. I do not want to be a negative force for the world. I also understand that I am a man who's lived a very difficult, nuanced life. And I am <laughs> capable of making nuanced points that may be misunderstood. Dude, Andrew Tate was such a perfect debate victim for me. God, he is so bad. That's why Pierce Morgan is like suckling on his bones right now. You know what I mean? He, he was such a genuine question. Why do you find Tate so fascinating? I love con men. What the fuck do you mean? I love bigoted con men. If you've been watching me for a long enough time, you've probably seen this. You probably know that at the top of the hour, there's a six second ad break. And you probably know that I love watching con men especially bigoted con men. Stop! <laughs>